In the following video, we are going to apply our rational zero theorem to make a list of all the possible rational zeros. So in this example, we have p of x equals 3x cubed plus 9x squared plus x minus 10. First thing we want to do is identify our p value and our q value. Now remember, you know, your p value are the factors of your constant and the q value is factors of leading coefficients. So we have p, you know, of negative 10. And so what we want to do is we want to list out all the numbers that can multiply to give you negative 10. Now my opinion is just focus on the 10. We'll focus on the negative part at the end. So what numbers multiply to give you 10? Well, I'll start with 1. You know, 1 and 10 multiply to give you 10. Then go to 2. 2 and 5 multiply to give you 10. 3 and 4 don't go into 10, so you don't use them. And so 1, 2, and 5 give you 10. But you also have to remember the positive or negative of each number as well can give you 10. Here, negative 10. I can take 1 times negative 10 and get negative 10, or negative 1 times positive 10. So when you make a list of the factors, just deal with it as if it's positive and then put the plus or minus. Same thing goes with your Q value. Your Q value is 3. So what are the factors of 3? Well, they're 1 and 3, you know, the positive and the negative numbers. And so when you are making your list, your P over Q, the list of possible rational zeros, what you want to do is take every single factor of your P, you know, 1, 2, 5, and 10 and you want to divide it by every factor of q 1 and 3. You know, here's my plus or minus already accounted for. So the easiest way to do this is to take every p value and in a way, you know, divide it by every q value and we do it each q value one at a time. So take 1 divide by 1. You know, we have the plus or minus 1 divided by 1 is 1. 2 divided by 1 is 2. 5 divided by 1 is 5. 10 divided by 1 is 10. So 1, 2, and 10, the positive of each of those. And now you do the same thing with the second key value. Take 1 and divide by 3, and that's 1 third. Take 2 and divide by 3, that's 2 thirds. 5 and divide by 3, it's 5 thirds. And 10 divided by 3 is 10 thirds. And we have the plus or minus of all of these. Now, if you want to be picky, you can go ahead and put them in numerical order. Plus or minus 1 third, 2 thirds. Because those are less than 1. Then we have 1. 5 thirds is less than 2. So we have 5 thirds, 2. 10 thirds is less than 5. Then 10 thirds, 5. And 10. If you want to be picky so you can see them in numerical order, this is a list of your possible rational zeros. So let's try this in another problem. Look at this polynomial where p of x is 9x to the 6th minus 5x cubed plus 27. Remember p, you have the factors of your constant and q are the factors of your leading coefficient. So I, for p, I want factors of 27. For Q, I want factors of 9. So numbers that multiply give me 27. Well, I always start with 1. So 1 and 27. And then we have 3 times 9 is 27. 4, 6, 7, and 8 don't go in 27. So these are the factors of 27. Factors of 9, 1 times 9 is 9. And 3 times 3, so 1, 3, and 9. And so now we create our ratio, P over Q. Each P value has to be divided by each Q value. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take every P value and divide by 1. And so 1 divided by 1, 3 divided by 1, 9 divided by 1, and 27 divided by 1 are all the originals. So you have plus or minus 1, 3, 9, and 27. Give me some more room. Now we take and divide by the next Q 
Q value, which is 3. So every number now is going to be divided by 3. So you have 1 third. 3 thirds is 1. It's already accounted for. 9 thirds is 3. It's already accounted for. 27 thirds is 9, and that's already accounted for. So the only one I need to write down is one third because I've already written down the other ones. So we don't write down repeats. And then you take and divide by the next Q value, which is nine. And so you have one divided by nine is one ninth. Three divided by nine is one third. Nine divided by nine is one. 27 divided by nine is three. All of those are already accounted for. So my list of possible rational zeros plus or minus one, three, nine, 27, plus or minus one third and one ninth. And so this is my list. So we've learned in this example, you know, make sure you simplify because that will show some repeats and we do not write down repeats. So let's take that idea and connected to the original theorem, which is the rational zero theorem, which makes a list of your possible rational zeros. And so this list are my possibilities. Doesn't guarantee it. Doesn't guarantee each one of these are zeros, but somewhere in this list, is a rational zero for our polynomial. So we're gonna take that concept and we can apply it into a future video and how to actually figure out which of these are the rational zeros.